Okay, plant friends, we are training plants to climb our walls on Bloom and Grow YouTube show. So plant friends, this wall is my pride and joy of my apartment. It is the green wall that I installed with Wally Grow planters. But as the wall has grown, or as the plants have grown on the wall, I have started to train the plants to climb the wall or to at least look like it is kind of cascading and growing and climbing all over our white space. And I can't believe it, but the plants have actually started to attach to the wall. This, as I jump on my um, couch, this particular vine of this um, jade pothos has now attached to the wall with its aerial roots. So if I can do it, you can do it, and this is stupidly easy to do. So this is my masterpiece, my larger scale um, green wall installation. I'm actually gonna show you a different plant that has gotten some really beautiful long hair that you're about to see, and I'm gonna train that hair to grow on another wall, and I'm going to teach you how to do it alongside me. Okay. This is like kind of an awkward position, but this is the corner that my best gal is in. Number one, I've got a lot going on here. If you can see, I have my entire air plant collection. Just wanted to give a shout out to Bulbasaur. Is that focused? How freaking cute is that? Anyway, um, so my best girl is here. How fierce is she? love her. I got her in Mexico. We were on our vacation where we got engaged and um, these were all over the resort and they weren't for sale but I just like harassed the manager of the resort to ask if I could buy one <laughs> and they let me buy one and now I have a beautiful memento of when we got engaged. So anyway her hair has gotten really long since I've repotted her so I was thinking it would be fun to have her start training up uh trailing up the wall and maybe climbing around our TV eventually so I am going to show you how to do that. Okay so training plants to climb a wall is as simple as this amazing product under 10 American dollars command hooks. This is seriously how simple this is. And you can see I've like broken into this. I use them all the time. So these command, you buy a package of command hooks. I can't believe they're more than I think $7 at your hardware store, maybe less. I live in New York City, so everything is expensive. You attach the sticky that comes with them and then you attach it to your wall and they come off really simply. I don't believe that the roots also, once they do fix they fix onto your wall, I don't think the roots will affect like your drywall or your paint or anything, but that's it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten, um, I'm going to stick this on the command strip. I'm going to stick it on my wall and I think I'm going to train her hair to go in two different directions. She look who wore it better I don't know I think she might be a winner <laughs> um, it's really that simple so don't think that the aerial roots are gonna start attaching to the wall anytime soon my green wall that I showed you earlier in this visit those roots have only started attaching to the wall I think maybe in the last couple of months and I've had that green wall up for almost two years but who cares if the roots attach to the wall or not? You can just make it look so cool and so fun. So it's really that simple. You can um, check the command hooks that I use in the show notes below. And I hope that you might want to get a little green trellis going in your walls, in your urban jungles, in your apartments, because I have to say it gives the most amazing jungle vibe and it is my favorite part of my home and now I've got two favorite parts because I think she is gonna grow some really wild hair and I can't wait to see it how it looks. So until next time my sweet plant friends keep blooming and keep growing.